somebody find me, somebody write me a message in a bottle that won't drink. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do these super cute Easter nails. They're really, really easy to do. You don't need any special paints or anything to do them. Um, I am just going to say that the rabbit and the chick are very heavily inspired by two of my favourite YouTubers, which is I Have a Cupcake and um, Cute Polish. Now, Cute Polish has just done this bunny look, and I Have a Cupcake has just done the duck one. And they're not exactly the same, but they are pretty much the same. So, um, I just wanted to show you how I've adapted them slightly and I didn't want anybody sort of saying oh you've just copied them I am aware that I've copied them but I'm giving them credit because I did not come up with this or this so this is just how I've used them with my nail look so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I will see you guys soon okay so the polishes that I'm going to be using today are in no particular order Electric Pineapple by China Glaze, Matte Top Coat by Beauty UK, Misty Jade by Rimmel, White by Barry M, Peach Melba by Barry M, Sheer Blue by W7, Papaya Punch by China Glaze, Flirty Girl by Orly, and Black Striper by Pink Tees. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to paint each of your nails one of your pastel colours. So the five pastel colours that I'm using are green, yellow, blue, peach and pink. Now it doesn't matter what nail you put these on, it really doesn't. So I'm just going to start painting all my nails. Okay, so you should now have something that looks like this. Now, obviously, you may need to do more than one coat. I'm going to think, I think I'm going to do three. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the chick first. So I'm going to take my orange china glaze polish. I'm just going to pop a little bit onto a scrap piece of paper that I've got at the side of me. And then I'm going to take um, a small dotting tool like this. You don't have to use a dotting tool, you can use a cocktail stick or a pin or a, a Kirby grip, something like that. And I'm going to start with the feet. So all I'm going to do for the feet, I know you, you can't see me can you, I'm going to do two little dots like this and then I want them to join together. just do the other side. If I turn like this I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing. If you need to just go over it a couple of times just to get them exactly how you want them. Like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the beak with the same orange. So all you want to do is you want to do like a, a line across the top and then you want to bring it down into a point. Now if you've got acrylic paints these will work better but I didn't have the energy to just get all my acrylic paints out just for this little bit that's why I'm using polish. So that's the beak then what you want to do is you want to get a larger dotting tool so I'm going to use the other end of the one that I've been using you want to take some black polish, I'm just going to use my black striper and again dab some onto a piece of paper at the side 
and then you want to go in with your daughter and you want to do its two big eyes so you just want to go one if you want to make them a bit bigger you can and then two and that is your base for the duck what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the rabbit now I'm going to do the rabbit on the pink background and you want to just take a white polish I'm using the Barry M white and you can do most of the rabbit with the actual brush so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a a semicircle on the bottom of my nail like this And then with the same brush on the side, I'm going to create two ear shapes like this. And then I'm just going to bulk them out slightly. Okay. the base of the bunny to dry I'm going to do the polka dots that I've done on these so all you want to do is you want to pick a contrasting colour to your background colour so for instance on the blue I'm going to do yellow dots so take your yellow polish I'm using the china glaze and again dab some onto a piece of scrap paper at the side and then you want to grab a large dotter again or a large pin or whatever and you just want to make some dots. I always start in the middle and then one at the top and one at the bottom and then I always do two to the side and then two on the other side and then if you have any gaps then you can just sort of fill in so like I've got a gap there and a gap there now as you can see I'm going onto my finger but that's fine because we can just clean up in a second okay now I'm just gonna quickly just clean those two edges up okay now I'm gonna do the green and on the green I'm going to do blue spots so again just dab some blue polish onto a piece of paper. I'm using the W7 polish for this. And then it's just the same technique again. Middle. Top. Bottom. Okay, and the last colour that I've got is the peach base and on the peach base I'm going to use green which I'm using the Rimmel. You don't have to use these colours, I'm just using pastel for Easter because obviously Easter you've got spring or Easter is normally in spring. Um, so I'm just using pastels because pastels remind me of spring. But you can do this look with any colours. You don't even have to do Easter. I mean, I'm just doing the chick and the rabbit because I think they're cute. And I haven't done, like, full nail art for a while. But, um... You can do whatever you want. Obviously, if you don't want to do the polka dots, you don't have to. You can just leave them plain. 
now be dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into the black polish that we put down before with a with a smallish dotter and I'm just going to okay so I'm going to take the pink from Orly and again just dab some onto a piece of paper and then with the small dotter again I'm just going to go in and fill in the ears And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to just do a little nose. There you go. So this is the finished look. So you've got your chick and your rabbit and you've got your pretty dotty nails, which you could call eggs. I'll just show you my other hand as well, just to show you that I've done both. I just think they're really pretty and they're really cute. Um, and it just proves that you don't have to have long nails to be able to do nail art. I mean, these nails are my own. They're natural. I mean, look, you can see how thin they are. Um, they're all different lengths. They're different shapes. But I just think that this look is so cute and I really, really do like it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all soon. Bye guys.